it's Gem and Jess, and in this video I'm going to be doing a whip and chat, aka a work in progress and chat. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, then thanks for stopping by. First, I have a disclaimer, of course. Um, you might hear noise in the background during this video, such as vehicles, sirens, dogs barking, etc. If you do, I'm apologizing in advance. My backyard is literally a freeway exit. Now, that being out of the way, uh, please, if you haven't already, grab whatever it is that you're working on. And let's diamond paint together, shall we? Um, I hope everybody had a great week, at least a better one than mine. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so today I'm working on um, my Pretty Me Creative canvas. I just did a, an unboxing of this canvas recently. Um, this is Sugar Skull Girl. It's a 30 by 30 centimeter full round drill. Um, it's no complaints so far honestly the drills i don't know if it's because i haven't worked on around in a long time but they're a lot smaller than i'm than i thought or like that i think i'm used to but again it's been a minute since i've done a round so i forgot how much i missed rounds honestly so much easier um it's like i have a love-hate relationship with squares i think <laughs> you know uh, um, this is also a pour glue canvas, um, if I didn't say that already, um, but besides them being small, the drills are stunning. Like, look at that. Do you see the glimmer already? Insane. I'm really, I think I'm really liking this company so far. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to finish this canvas by February 1st, um, because I'm going to be doing, participating in actually my first event. Oh, there's something on the table right here. Drill a Beast. Um, if you're interested, go ahead over on Facebook and find the group page. Uh, hashtag D R I L L A B E A S T Drill a Beast, and it's uh, you have to do like you know a, a canvas um, of the actual beast from Beauty and the Beast, or a canvas 40 by 50 centimeter, I think, or bigger, or a bunch at once. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. It's I think hosted by. Uh, Oh, I know it's Abigail, Diamond Painting with Abigail Marie is hosting it, but so are a, a few other girls, so that's going to be exciting, participating in my first event. Wish me luck. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm really bad at attending events. Um, I'm going to be late probably, but who knows. Um, <laughs> I'm late to everything, I swear. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually going to be participating in a bunch. Let me get a color real quick before I start jibber-jabbering. Um, Let's do this one. I'm going to be working on DMC code 775, which is this color. It's like a light blue. Do I go this way or this way? This way. Hope you guys can see that. So pretty. I'm like halfway over, a little over halfway done on her face. It looks so badass. So the I use multiple pens, if you didn't know, um, during my whipping chats, so I don't have to keep refilling them. So today I'm going to be using pens by Corby Bender Art redneckbeauty.com and 802 diamond painting pens by Lisa over on Facebook. Of course, everything I use in this video today, I will post every all the links in the description box if, in case you're interested. This tray is, of course, by uh, Wilson 3D Designs. Oh, oh, shit. I, look at this pretty new drill saver I got. Cover minder from Happy Hippo Finds. Isn't it freaking gorgeous? I got my friend speaking of <laughs> and because I'm an annoying friend I like to shout her on every video just to piss her off sometimes it probably doesn't even piss her off but sometimes I kind of wish it did why because I'm a brat <laughs> anyways I got her one too but it's pink and white like a chunky white glitter so and I think it has a snowflake on it because she likes snow but it's so pretty it's made out of resin and I wanted to show you guys let me get it real quick that's if I can find it in a timely fashion I got something else and he's so cute. Here he is. You guys know I mean, love aliens. Look at it, it's an alien cover minder. Isn't he cute? <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, so I got that too from Happy Hippo Finds. Again, I'll post everything in the description box. Okay, now that all the boring stuff's out of the way, let's diamond paint. I hope everybody, again, had a great week, weekend, better than mine. And why do I say that? Well, we got some hood chronicles going on. I mean, what do you expect? What the hell did I do with my pen? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I live in the hood, so. Uh, let's see. 
let me make sure I don't forget anything. Oh, before I talk about my Hood Chronicles over here, I would like to say congratulations um, again to my giveaway, 100 subscribers giveaway winner. You can call me Butter. Um, I did send you your Amazon gift card. My post office, I went hauled ass over there this morning before they closed. And um, they closed. They were closed. I don't know if they were closed all day or they just wanted to be like, haha, F you. I'm not open, but they weren't open today, and I knew I should have went last uh, yesterday, but so I guess Monday, I'm sorry, but Monday I will be sending out your patty wax, and I already gave Pam over on uh, 3D Wilson, or Wilson 3D Designs for the trays, your info yesterday, so I'll let you know, or she'll let you know when it's being shipped out, okay? I'll, I'll keep you posted on that in case you haven't heard from her. But yeah, congratulations, and again, thank you to all my subscribers, period, and and thank you to the ones that um, entered the giveaway. Don't worry, I'm gonna be doing another one at 300. And um, am I gonna be doing one at 300 or five? I think it's gonna be five. I don't know. I need to go back and see what I said. <laughs> I forgot already. So, but don't worry. One will be hopefully coming up not too long. We'll see how my luck goes. <laughs> if I'm not canceled by them um, for 300. I might just do a little 300 one, just cause. Why not? And then do a bigger one at five but so yeah congratulations to her again um you're awesome so yeah and if i seem a little like out of it right now i swear i just woke up like a couple hours ago i got up hauled ass to go to the post office before they close i woke up at like 10 30 my time i live in california so yeah um <laughs> did that for no freaking reason my luck to send out that patty wax for my winner and yeah so I'm still dr dragging ass like oh did I bring my coffee no I think I chugged it before I freaking I should have made another one but so yeah again I apologize if I seem a little slow I'm already slow so wish me luck here um yeah okay so about the whole like <laughs> what's good in the hood you know what I mean um I had a crazy freaking week. Okay, first, let me just start off by saying my boyfriend put in his two weeks, right? Like, a month ago. And the only reason why he kept working is because we need the money. Like, times are rough, you know? And so eventually, he, like, he just couldn't do it anymore because his boss is pretty much using him. Like, been knowing this for a year, but, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about half the time, at least according to him. So, you know, um... He finally stopped, and like, so I'm like, oh shit, here we go, here comes the freaking sell everything I own, which, by the way, I've already started doing. Um, yeah, I've been straight hustling my ass off this past week, trying to get rid of shit I don't use, and just because I'm, I don't know when he's gonna get another job, and it's like scary, you know? So anyways, um, he, but the reason why he finally said screw you, which was because our neighbor, thank God, um, he told Sammy, my boyfriend, like, hey, you should come apply at where I work. It's kind of far, but it's um, under the table, and it's, uh, from the amount he told us, worth it for sure. So we called the dude. He talked to him. Um, that was, like, a few days ago. And so, because he was like, well, I'm kind of looking for someone full time. But at the time, Sammy was thinking he was going to try and do both jobs. But then... He was like, no, screw this, because his boss is just so disrespectful a lot. Like, I can't even, don't even go there with me, you know, with his boss. Like, I could go all day, <laughs> and then some, about that dude. But, um, so finally he just said, screw this fool, and he, uh, so he's like, okay, I'll, um, call me back in a couple days if you think you can do full time. So he did, and of course, all day yesterday, he couldn't get a hold of him. So we asked the neighbor, like, because he works overnight, like, hey, when you go to work tonight, can you please talk to that dude for us? Because he said he had, like, two openings, and I hope to God, like, they haven't been pulled up. Because I know people, when a job opens, they, like, it gets filled, like, immediately, usually. So, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm using Lifesaver Wild Cherry Patty Wax. In case anybody wanted to know. <laughs> so, yeah, um, <laughs> random, I know, sorry, my ADHD is probably kicking in. Uh, so, yeah, um... We're just waiting to hear back from that guy. Wish me luck. I hope he calls back because, like, I have a habit and I need to keep spending on that habit. And you guys know what my habit is. If if that goes bad, the um, if 
the money should get short, I should say, and the, the habit's gonna die off because I can't afford it, and I will be severely depressed. Like, what do you mean I can't buy at least one diamond painting a week? I mean, I, I was trying to do a, a one diamond painting a day. Now you're trying to tell me it might be a month? Two months? Oh, oh no. This, this, I'm gonna be withdrawing like a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but seriously, like, Please, God, I hope, I hope this guy responds back. That would be awesome. But if not, then, you know, we'll just have to look somewhere else, I guess. It's just, like, finding a job, especially now with this whole freaking COVID crap. And I live in California where literally everyone and their mom and grandma and dog is locked down. I just, like, it makes me nervous, you know? So, yeah. Okay, so that happened and whatever. Um, and let's see what else, what else. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> so the first thing, um, which story should I do? Okay, Hood Chronicles. <laughs> um, my boyfriend went over to his homie's house. I don't know, he's like a car dude, mechanic dude, and he wanted to see what, he said he had like some car parts because my boyfriend's currently working on our truck. So he's like, yeah, I'll come over and check it out. Plus, I was like, Please just get the hell out of the house, you know. Now that he's not working, I can't do what I want. I mean, I hate to say that, but like when it comes to filming on YouTube and stuff, I can't do it around him. He's just like loud. He's the loudest person I've ever met in my life. Even when he tries to be quiet, he's loud as hell. So I was like, yeah, please get out of here so I can like maybe film and get some stuff done. So he did. Tell me why, um, about a few hours of him being gone or so. He texts me, getting pulled over. I'm sorry, what did you just text me? Do you guys remember, if you watched my last Whitman chat, I think it was, uh, my boyfriend got pulled over on Christmas. Granted, he wasn't driving, you know, and nothing happened, you know, whatever. I was just called being a dick, in my opinion, but, um, so now this. I'm like, dude, are you serious right now? <sighs> like, I swear... This is why I don't go anywhere with him, because, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, like, I hate to say that, but, like, seriously, what are you doing to get flu over all the time? Like, if that's the case, like, I'm staying in the house for another year, because now I don't trust you <laughs> not getting pulled over. Um, so I'm like, what do you mean? Like, why are you getting pulled over? Like, everything's legit. What the hell? Or so I thought. Well, apparently, just like the first time, his tail light was out, right? sure okay whatever you want to say cop so um i'm gonna have to switch colors right now so two hours goes by and at this point i'm like shit he's in jail for sure why the hell because normally they would check it out say oh, okay ticket bye because i know he's not doing anything bad or stuff he's not supposed to be doing so like it shouldn't have been that long so i'm ready trying to figure out how the hell i'm gonna get bail money and everything else right finally Thank God, he texted me like maybe two, 15 minutes after, uh, so it was like two hours and 15 minutes or so, he um, got pulled over in one second. Uh, I need to get another color. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, five, two, two. Okay, here we go. Um, he texted me back. I was like, oh my God, thank God, please. He's like, they just let us go. I guess he was riding around with his friend and some other dude. I think they were giving him a ride home or some shit. And I was like, dude, what do you mean? Like, why? Two and a half hours later, what the hell is going on? Like, you know, my my suspicious um, thoughts start running through my mind. Did I ever tell you guys I didn't trust anybody? Yeah. Well, if not, I don't trust no one, okay? So I'm already thinking, like, what the hell is he up to, <laughs> right? It shouldn't have taken that long, you know? So, uh, he's like, dude, they, had a, they ran our fingerprints, our name, like, He's like, i never seen this before, it was like some fox thing, and I'm like, who the hell are you hanging out with? Like, gangbangers? Like, wouldn't it be a surprise? Not that I'm trying to be judgmental or anything, but like, we're, you're supposed to be like, not doing that anymore. Like, that part of your life is like, just over. You're about to be 41 years old. Knock it off, you know? But yeah, he's like, he's like, I don't know, all they said was our tail light was out, and I guess it was. So this time I guess it was true. But tell me why, after all that shit the cops made them go through, they let him go and didn't even give him a ticket. I mean, knock on wood, I'm glad he didn't get a ticket. I mean, that's just another expense we don't need. But at the same time, like, 
that's harassment. Like, what the? Okay, because it'd be more legit if you gave him a ticket, cop, because that was why you pulled him over, right? So now I just feel like because you didn't give him a ticket, which I am grateful for, but what I'm not grateful for is cops pulling people over and fucking with them. Excuse my language. And then just to, like, I don't know, I guess the person he's with, he was with, like, was suspicious or something looking i don't know they're mexicans they've all been the joint like yes my boyfriend is a bad boy okay i can't help it like i, I just can't do the good boy nice man thing like it's just ew gross go away like i'm sorry guys if you're nice out there like i'm too much of a bitch to be with you like i just can't it's okay we're just some people just aren't meant to be i'm meant to be with the bad boy okay it just it is what it is so you know just don't judge me and if you do i don't care like you know so yeah um he, he has a pass whatever it is what it is but i just i hate that like after all this shit that's gone on in 2020 and you'd think the cops might get a hint like just because they're mexican and not black because like doesn't mean you can just pull them over and stereotype like i hate that shit and that goes for blacks too or anybody like what the fuck leave people alone like we're struggling enough to live day to day and survive and you just want to pick on people because their te or headlights out and they don't look like um, a white corporate you know CEO like go F yourself like that shit just pisses me off and drives me crazy so yeah sorry about the rant that happened and then uh what else happened oh my boyfriend it's always my boyfriend see this is why I stay inside like I mind my business because shit just pops off if I don't you know and, and this is why so like I told I don't know if you guys knew but I have issues with my neighbor he is <sighs> hold on let me before I get into this uh, ordeal let me find the drill I need I need J where is J this is J okay so I don't like my neighbor matter of fact I really don't like my neighbor and he knows this um I need change bins. <laughs> I didn't want to say it last time I talked about this dude, but I'll say it this time because I don't give a f Okay? Um, he's basically either selling drugs or he's trapping out his house for to get high for free. I know. because How do I know? Um, just because I grew up in the hood and um, I just know, okay? We won't get into that part of my life, but yeah. So, and I have, you know, homeless people coming all day all night traffic up the ass um in and out of his house all day all night you know like i said and it really oh we got our generator stolen i don't know if i mentioned that last time last whip and chat and obviously it's because we got drug addicts coming right next door to our house all day and night what am i gonna do sit there and watch these people no i got diamond painting to do okay so now i have to get a camera because now our shit's getting taken um you know, it's just a whole shit show, so it is what it is. This fool just needs to bounce, I swear, because it's about to get ugly with me. Um, so, like I was saying, so Sammy and our neighbor, one of his friends, were in the laundry room. It's like literally 15, 20 feet from where I live. Like, it's perfect. It's right there. So, they were kicking it, um, you know, just hanging out. Sammy was putting laundry in the thing, the washer. And, uh, he looks over, he says, and sure enough, one dude walks up with like a trash bag, right? And sits right in front of the pad because our neighbor's not home. He's like, dude, what the hell? Then two people pull up and park and they're all talk, get out. They talk outside. It's like, you know, their friends or his friends, whatever the neighbors, they leave. And then another group of people pull up sitting there talking to their day. Like, oh, and then he's like, he's like, I swear, babe, there was at least 10 people that were there in and out, you know, pulling up, leaving. And he was just like, you know what, screw this. This dude ain't even home. Why are all these people just kicking it in front of the pad like that? Like, you guys don't understand. Like, our houses are not even 12 feet apart. Like, our neighbor, you know? So, me and my neighbor's house. Um, so, yeah. Hold on one second. Sorry, guys. I already have to switch. So, he sees this going on. My boyfriend's like, dude, I'm so over this. So, and I'm in the house minding my own business. And I start hearing yelling outside. Well, apparently, he told these people, you're not welcome here. If, you, if this fool's not home, you need to get out. You can't just be kicking it posted out here like 
all this riffraff, you know what I mean? So, um, one second, guys. Uh, okay, here it is. So, yeah, um, well, then it just so happened the neighbor walked up from wherever he was, I don't know. And he starts getting in my, like, talking shit to my boyfriend. And my boyfriend's like, what fool? He's like, you, he's like, you can't be having all this right here, man. I got my shit stolen. You know, if you're not home, like, he's like, you can't tell me who I can and cannot have at my house. Which, granted, but, um, at this point, we've had the cops here many times because of you. Not my house, his house. You know, Marsh. Our, not just ours, but our neighbor's stuff has been taken. Our, our gas has been siphoned. Like, at this point, um, yeah. We are gonna tell you, my boyfriend's like, we are gonna tell you who you can and cannot know over here. And if you got a problem with it, let's let's handle it, right? So I, I don't know, I guess he started to get a little too um, much into my boyfriend's face or whatever, and he straight just popped him in the mouth. <laughs> and he's like, and so, and I didn't know this was going on, right? Okay, and by the way, I do not promote violence, but sometimes it needs to be done. Um, don't disrespect me or you, you're gonna we're gonna scrap right <laughs> okay so apparently um i didn't know this was going on so all i hear is get off my property get off my property i'm like what the hell is going on this time like because i knew it was my neighbor by the voice but i didn't know my boyfriend was involved so <laughs> all of a sudden sammy comes in storming and I'm like what happened so he tells me they got in a fight and i guess the dude after he popped him in the mouth he's all because i hear get off my property and get away from me get away from me right i was like what I was like, you hit him? He's like, yeah, dude, that fool needs to get checked. He's like, can't be having all this riffraff over here. You know, and he tried to get in my face, and I was like, he's like, so everyone took off after that. They didn't want none. So, uh, sorry, he's all, so I guess what happened was he hit him, and then the neighbor went and hid in someone's car, and they took off. I'm like, I was like, great, now the cops are gonna come. Now you're for sure gonna go to jail. Three strikes, you're out, you know. No, luckily he wasn't a snitch and he didn't call the cops, but, uh, well, let me just say that I think that one person's been over at his house since, so maybe he learned for at least a couple minutes, but, <laughs> so yeah, that popped off, and then, uh, what else happened? Um, let's see, oh, I sold my car, yeah, I mean, it sounded like I had to sell it, I mean, I kind of do, did, but, because money is starting to get short, but, um, I, I bought, so I bought this car, like, I don't know, last, uh, March, May, uh, April-ish sort of time frame, right? D, sorry, 14, um, and it was a salvage title, 2013 Hyundai, a really sweet car, stick shift, which I can't drive, right? Yes, I know, I can't drive a stick, um, not that one anyway, <laughs> So, so yeah, um, it was more for my boyfriend, right? Well, then we found the truck that we have now that he liked better. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess we'll just sell it. Plus it had so many problems. It, of course, after I buy it, it starts overheating and I didn't know we had to pay $500 to get it re-registered and do all the compliance checks and this and that because it's a salvage. I've never bought a salvage before. I don't freaking know. So yeah, we were like, okay, yeah, psych so much for that. That was a freaking huge loss on my checkbook, but, um, but luckily I sold it within 24 hours, like, once I posted it. I mean, I had pretty much got a $1,500, no, no, like, $2,500 loss out of it, like, big fucking chunk of change, excuse my language, I'm cussing a lot today, sorry, like, I try to hold it, tone it down for the whipping chats, but today it's just not, it's just flowing, so I'm sorry about that, if, if it bugs you, you know, I don't know what to tell you, it's gonna happen, so. But yeah, um, so I sold my car, you know, um, which is good because we kind of, we needed the extra cash, and then, uh, well, that's about it. I'm so tired, like, oh my god, I stayed up way too late. I think I went to bed at 2.30 in the morning, and I'm like old lady status, no offense to old people, but like literally, I like to go to bed like at 8 o'clock at night. I'm 33 years old, this should not be happening, but it's happening. Um, I need to get another color 23 yes so i mean i'm just like 2 30 at night now jessica what are you thinking like, we stayed up late me and my boyfriend uh cooking oven roasted potatoes carrots jalapenos cilantro um what else was in there onions i mean it was bomb it was totally worth it but he was 
pretty much cooking and I was part time helping him and I, while I was also diamond painting and watching Strange Evidence, which is a show on Amazon Prime Video that I love. It's like about CV cameras, like filming stuff like that happens just on everyday city street life, you know? And they catch all kinds of crazy shit, like manholes exploding in New York City from the corroded wiring underneath the sewer system from the salt water, you know? And I guess it happens like a bunch of times a year. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure now I'm scared to death to even go to New York City and walk on the sidewalk. Like, thanks, show. <laughs> like, that shit was crazy, but it's a good show. So, um, I watched that, and we stayed up late cooking. And yeah, so I woke up at 10.30, which is like... I'm the type of girl that wakes up late at 6, like, I've been an early bird person, plus I'm used to Sammy's work schedule, getting up early, okay, bye, I love you, you know, get the hell out of here, and, you know, getting my day started, you know, but lately I've just been, like, staying up later because he hasn't been working, and it's just kind of like, my body's putting me in check right now, like, no, 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 we're not doing this, you know, these days are over, come on now, get your ass to bed at a reasonable hour, you know? <laughs> So yeah, that happened. Oh, and I talked to my mom yesterday. She's fully recovered from the COVID, which is good. Um, I sent her a picture of me wearing the Ugg boots she got me for Christmas. And I was like, you like my shoes? <laughs> uh, she's like, yeah, they look good on you. I'm like, thanks, mom. And I, I still haven't sent her her Christmas present. Like I said, I'm late to everything in my life. But it's because, okay, so it's a diamond painting I did. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it. It's um, the goddess of crossways I buried Haik Hikate from DIY Moonshop right well I was gonna wait till after the whole po you know shipping and USPS craziness for Christmas I was just gonna wait to ship it to her afterward because she was she's totally fine with it she's like whatever you know um <coughs> excuse me so I and then I sat and thought like how am I supposed to mail this like because I wanted to frame it I wanted it to look pretty for our kitchen because it's like her kitchen colors the black cream white and beige or whatever or gold I mean and um I was like mom I, I want to I have a dilemma about your present but I don't really want to tell you what it is because then I'm it's gonna probably give it away she's like oh god give me a break she's like just tell me I'm like okay look I made you a diamond painting for your kitchen I'm like I don't know if I should frame it or if I should just send it to you rolled up in a tube so it doesn't get damaged and then you can pick out a frame and I'll get it or what She's like, no, no, no. She's like, just send it to me. Make sure it's packaged good. She's like, and I will, um, I will, uh, frame it. No problem, honey. You know, she's like, I know you're kind of, times are tough. I'm like, okay, cool. So she's like dying to see it. So I fucking post, you know, I sent her the picture. She's like, oh my gosh. She's like, I already know where I want to put it. She loved it. So I'm really glad. My mom's style, I don't, it's not mine at all. Like, I don't know. I kind of know her and her style, but I, it's nothing like mine, so it's kind of hard, you know? So, yeah. And I was like, are you sure you like it? What are my feelings? I have other ones if you want it. She's like, no, I love it. So I was really happy she liked it. I love that canvas with the crystals. and oh, I love DIY Moonshop. Why? It's so expensive. Why? It's okay, though. I still have, like, 15 canvases I, I need to do from them. I've just been taking a break from them. I have been starting to withdraw from their canvases. I'm not going to lie. Like, I I love their art. Um <coughs> But I've been wanting to show more variety on my channel, so I'm doing it. I'm sacrificing my needs for my channel because I feel like viewers deserve it, variety, and to not just shop at one place, especially one that's, at least for the U.S., really expensive. You know what I'm saying? Especially right now. Like, times suck right now. At least for me. I can only speak for myself here, you know? Uh, but yeah, so... <laughs> Yeah, I talked to my mom. Everything's good. She's recovered. That's great. So, yeah. I need to hurry up with this whip chat. I'm so sorry, guys, but my boyfriend's here, and I told him, please stay outside while I'm till I'm done with this, because I want to, you know, film this while I can. He's working on the truck, putting on a new head gasket or some crap, so he's probably, like, sitting there, like, God, when is this chicken going to be done? You know, man, they have to, like, stop what they're doing every five seconds to take a piss or get a drink or whatever it is. <laughs> Or that's just my experience, but so yeah, I'm gonna cut this short. Um, unfortunately, that's okay. Hopefully, he'll be getting a job soon, right? And I'll be uh, be able to film longer whipping chats, right? I did get to do the Miss Mrs. Crochet and Coffee Whipping Chat Challenge. Thank you, and again, shout out to Mrs. Coffee for doing that for all creators. That is awesome, um, and it's been wonderful being able to watch 
people I haven't watched before and you know seeing their stuff it's really cool so thank you again on the agenda this week you guys I'm gonna be hopefully doing this post review right here of this canvas um, an unboxing for sure um, I'll I'm definitely gonna be doing one I might do two but I like to slow down on unboxings I'd rather do post reviews you know um, so unboxing post review and my last episode on my diamond painting pen series hopefully it should be in the middle this week for sure coming up so um, this is a Saturday by the way um, so yeah I'll be doing that and I'm really trying to get my storage video up so hopefully with luck I'll be able to post that up but if not it'll have to wait till the week after so yeah um, that's gonna be on the agenda so anyways I gotta go now um, before I start getting the bang on the door and that's gonna be embarrassing because then you're gonna hear me talking shit to him so thank you so much for uh, everybody for watching um, you know I appreciate and love you all all my viewers and subscribers um, I hope everyone has a great next week I guess because um, this is Saturday and um, stay tuned for this post review of this canvas it should be up uh, probably Monday or Tuesday latest so um yeah thank you for watching and again I'll post um, all the links to everything I use in the video in the description box and I will see you guys next time bye